All this time we wished if we had more free time to play the games that we wanted to play and now that we have more free time, we are being lazy. So here are 5 things that you can do during quarantine. Well number 1 is gonna be cleaning your PC. The PC that you are playing games, remember they also need cleaning. And if you don't clean your PC, that might affect your performance plus you might have more heating issue because of not enough airflow. All you have to do is open the CPU case and use a cloth or a brush to start cleaning off the inside. And if you don't have an air blower to blow off the dust, then you might try blowing off air using your mouth. Maybe wear some glasses the next time you do it. After cleaning, you will notice that the CPU usage has lowered down and the temperatures are cooler than before. It won't be a massive performance increase, but there will be some performance increase and that will obviously help you. Number 2 is you can create your own games using game engines. Game engines such as Unity and Unreal Engine are totally free to use and you can learn those game engines to create your own games. And in YouTube you will see numerous number of tutorials on how to learn these game engines. Even you can find tutorials to make the basic of basic games and share it with your friends to have some fun. With a little bit of basic programming and also using basic objects, you can make some very basic games. And I must tell you, it is really fun to create some games because I did one. It wasn't fun playing the game, but it was fun making it. Number 3 is to practice your favorite multiplayer game. That's right, there must be a game that you're not so good at and you always want to improve to get good and have better kills. Well, now is the time to play that game and practice more and more to get better. The more you practice, the more better you become in aiming, handling guns or fighting in whatever games you're playing. And then you can show off your gameplay by recording it and posting it in the community itself. You can call in your friends and let them play with you and in a few days you will see how much you have improved and how much fun it is to play that game. For example Warzone which is a very hot game right now and I am not so good at the game so it's time to play more Warzone so that I can become better and show off some of my gameplays. I mean I can be good in games too. Number 4 Speed Running Through A Game there must be a game that you love so much that you keep coming back to. Now I'm not talking about a multiplayer game but a single player game. For some people it is GTA 5, for some people it is Far Cry 3. So you know how to complete every single objective of that game. So might as well start playing game and start finishing all those objectives as quick as possible and making a speedrun out of it. Now don't you try to speedrun getting over it. That is just blowing your minds off and being crazy. But to be honest, it's so much fun to go through a game again and try to complete the objective as fast as you can and maybe finishing a game in an hour or two. I mean some people have completed Resident Evil 2 Remake in just 49 minutes. That's crazy man. It's definitely hard but there's no harm trying it right? Number 5 Learning Video Editing I know a lot of you guys record your moments while you play the game and some of those moments are so amazing that you want to share it to the community. Well now is the time to learn more into video editing. Now don't worry there are free editing programs as well such as HitFilm Express or DaVinci Resolve that can help you edit videos similar to that of Premiere Pro because they actually look exactly the same. And there are tons and tons of tutorials out there in YouTube itself so that you can learn everything about these two softwares and much more. Now for sure video editing takes a lot of time but it's also fun to edit a video in such a way that people like your content and they might want to watch even more content from you. And maybe in this way you can start your own YouTube channel and start posting out content from the videos that you have edited. There you go guys 5 things that you can do on lockdown and you don't have to sit around and be all lazy like my sister. You know what else you can do? You can actually play some of the games we listed out for you in top 10 games you should be playing during 21 day lockdown because there are some amazing games that you should definitely check out because they got amazing stories that you will never forget. Well, on that note, do not forget to hit that like button and click on subscribe because we got more videos coming on Gamer Connect. And also do not forget to comment down below to let me know what games you're playing right now and what do you do nowadays in your home. And one of the most important things that you guys should be doing is sharing the video with your friends so that they can know it all. And also join Gamer Connect community because last I heard there are some really cool people playing really really cool games that you should be a part of. This is me Gaming Madness and I'll see you guys in one of those next videos.